going to go ahead and call the meeting to order and ask that the uh, clerk call roll. Dr. Ramona Becker. Here. Guy McDonald. Here. Betty Martin. Here. Peggy O'Donnell. Here. Diane Wynn. Here. We have a quorum. Wonderful, thank you. And with all of our uh, regularly, or with all of our council meetings, we will begin with a moment of silent prayer. You'll join me in that. Amen. Now, if you please rise and join us in the same the Pledge of Allegiance. I want to welcome everybody to the uh, regularly scheduled meeting of your uh, Bel Air City Council. We're in September already. The weather's acting like it. And we, uh, it's been a few weeks since we've been here because of uh, August having five Tuesdays, so it seems like it's been a while, but here we are. So uh, the first thing is the consent agenda, which consists of the minutes of the August 15, 2017 Council meeting. Mr. Mayor, yes. I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda as listed and authorize <coughs> the mayor to sign. Second. First and second. Any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Passes. Okay. Next is discussion and approval of appropriations ordinance. Um, this meeting, it totals $268,839.12. I do want to let you guys know that 110,000 of that uh, went to CCUA, and that's for our debt service payments on the water and sewer treatment plants. Uh, 5,000 was for a traffic counter. You guys may have seen that out and about, but that's for uh, uh, economic development and a very important tool. So I'm glad to see that we have that. Um, that can help you know with determining traffic patterns and usage, and that's the stuff developers and a lot of people are asking about. Uh, the rest is just for the day-to-day -day operations of the city. Um, but again, uh, appropriations ordinances uh, meeting totaling $268,839.12. And again, every penny of it is online for anybody who wants to see that. Mr. Mayor, I had yes. a question um, okay. on page... I just lost it. About the sign mm -hmm. um, on page 4. The National Sign Company, where it says signage Lions Club area chamber. What was that the sign for over at the rec center? No, that's for. Um, that's our population sign. Yeah, we had, since we're growing so much, our oh, old we got population a new one? sign mm -hmm. had the population notice. on them, a number, 6,800 sure. or something. And so um, we decided we needed to replace those and we I didn't agree. put numbers on them this time. And then we, we had some old ones that. Um, uh, that have the Beller Chamber and the Lions Club, mm -hmm. and they were fading out and looking pretty bad. So we thought we'd just replace them. So uh, at m most of the uh, all of our streets that come into Bel Air, if there's not a monument, you'll s you'll see a sign that says Good. that you're entering or basically city of Bel Air limits. So people they're not up yet, that. are they? What's I that? haven't seen them. They are. Now, some of them are. Some of them are. We've got okay. some of the some of the old ones we replaced, and we're going to put some more, up, like on 53rd Street and Oliver. So when people come that way, they'll know they're entering Bel Air and stuff. So we're going to add a few as well. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great idea. May I ask a question mm -hmm. on, on this subject? Uh, I just wondered, uh, Manager, if you've ever considered. Uh, having one of those aggregate signs like you see in some communities so you don't have so many sign posts up yeah um, in fact we were talking about on some of our entrances there's you'll see several signs together and we were actually mm -hmm. talking about if there was a way that we could do one poll or something mm -hmm. like you've said with mm -hmm. add different things to them so yeah we're looking at that and good because there are a few interests some of our interests are fine there's nothing there but some of them like yeah. on 45th street bit there's busy. a whole bunch of <laughs> right. them so we're trying to figure out how to make that a little okay easier that's to, great thank yeah. you uh mr mayor 
Uh, you explained briefly about the less than $5,000 that was spent for uh, the traffic study. Um, I would like to ask the manager to go into a little bit more detail about that so people could understand what streets were uh, targeted and, and what the consequences were. Could you do that, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if we've actually... Yeah, it wasn't a study. It was a traffic right. counting machine. And okay. so the, we bought it for several reasons. One is um, with all the development that's being um, built and all the interest we're getting, people want to know what's your traffic at 53rd and Rock okay. um, or at 53rd and Webb. And we don't know that because we've not counted our traffic or had a machine to do that. Now the county does it, the state does it, so, and Wichita does it, so we can pull their, they'll give us their numbers, but it stops at their, um, like we can, we know what 37th and um, Woodlawn is, because we can get that from Wichita, what 30, what 45th and Woodlawn, we don't know. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use that so that we can go to all of our intersections and where our marketing group, where they're getting interest, um, and we can get numbers for them so we can say, and it's, it's uh, we, they print out some tremendous reports of information that we can use. And so like times a day, um, when the traffic's the highest and things like that. So we'll get them the numbers that they need. So when they're talking to uh, Joe's Crab Shack, um, okay. then we have numbers <laughs> that they can hopefully have enough to come there. Joe's Crab Shack is not coming to Bellevue. Okay. It's not an announcement. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's okay. a good plan. Uh, and then the other reason okay. is, again, so that as you as council are looking at how are we going to spend our funds, um, we've got information for you to say, well, it looks like all of our heavy trucks are going down this road, um, or this is the busiest intersection we have in Bel Air. Um, and so we're going to use all that data for um, our traffic numbers. Um, for future planning of streets and street repairs and things like that. So um, we felt for the minimum amount, it's going to produce some great uh, benefits for us. Thank you for that explanation, Mr. Manager. Appreciate it. Mr. Mayor, a follow-up on that. Do the police department put those out or our public works department? Uh, public works does it. Um, and they also there's a program that goes with it so they go put this little box out and they spread those um, there's like cables or whatever across and then they take it to their computer and download all the information and that's the information that I was telling you that they can look at every day and every hour what the traffic is the, whether they're motorcycles or you know semi trucks and what their weights are their speeds um, so we'll be sharing that with the police department because if they see that on Oliver between 45th and 53rd that the average speed's 55, then we'll let the police know that, you know, it looks like we've got a problem over there. You ought to watch that. Yeah, I'll just close by saying you know, there's a lot of interest in the traffic count. I mean, that's the number one thing that developers are asking when, we've ha when we're having any conversation, any discussion with them, one of the very first questions is what are your traffic counts? And if I may add, it was, if you remember when I first came on the council and you were discussing some streets and things like that, those were my questions right then and there. What's the traffic count even on our residential streets? Because that's how I determine what comes first kind of thing. So I'm very pleased with this purchase. Any other questions on the appropriations ordinance 17-17? I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. First and second, any other questions or comments for hire the staff? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay, next under city requested appearances. Uh, state law requires that all governmental uh, entities complete a uh, annual financial audit. And this is something we do every single year. Alan Gibbs and Kulik completed our 2016 audit for our city. Uh, council received that copy um, of the report management letter that was in our packets. And I see Amy Williams from uh, AG&H is here to go over the audit and answer any questions that we might have. 
So welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, did you guys have us perform your annual audit? We enjoy doing it. Um, I would also like to thank Ted and, and city staff that get us all our information and get it timely and are able to answer all of our questions adequately. Um, I am going to point first to a letter you should have received um, with your packet. If not, we can get you a copy of that. But it's our required communications to the, to the city council. Um, I'm just going to point out a few things in the letter. I'm not going to read it word for word. Um, the first one is about two-thirds down on the first page there. Um, we talk about the, the city implemented a new GASB this year that had to do with tax abatements. This didn't affect the financial statements at all. It was just a disclosure, and that is found on page 45, footnote G. And it's just um, basically how the city um, abates taxes on their behalf and if the county would abate taxes on the city's behalf also. And it's just transparency, just so everybody um, who is involved in that can, can be aware of what's going on there. Um, if you turn the page over, there are a couple of judgments and estimates that we do. Um, none of these are new. We have uh, an accounting estimate for the land project valuation and then also for the net pension liability. The net pension liability, and this is the second year that that's been in effect, so those are nothing new. Um, the audit adjustments that we perform mostly um, give us to the gap basis presentation. There, again, those are all similar to prior year. There's nothing new that we're doing there. Um, if you look at the third page on the internal control deficiencies, uh, we don't have anything new to report. Again, these are the same deficiencies that we have um, year to year. Most of it is due to segregation of duties, the small office, um, the cost benefit of getting another person in to do some of the, the uh, mitigating controls. And it wouldn't be worth it just due to the small size, and we understand that. Um, that is all I have on that letter. Do you have any questions on the required communications? No, I'll just say I appreciate it. I know it's required, but a lot of detail in here, and uh, to have that, so thank you. Yeah, and if you guys would come up with questions at some point in time, um, Ty and Ted both have my um, contact information, and I'd be happy to answer questions if they would come up. And the other report is the city's financial statements, and these are the city's financial statements. We assist a little bit in, in putting them all together. The only thing in here that is ours is the independent auditor's report, and it is about three or four pages in, pages one and two. And if you go down to the first page there, and it says opinion, that is our opinion, and that is um, the highest level of assurance that we can give that the financial statements are free of material misstatement. I know that's a lot of words, but um, basically it's the highest level of assurance that we can give that this, this financial picture is a true and fair view of the city's financial statements. I'm not going to go through the financial statements. Um, again, they're the city's. If you have any questions over certain numbers or any of the footnotes, I'd be happy to answer them. don't see any up here, and I will just, for the, those in the audience and those uh, listening at home, we do have a, uh, we're talking, what, 63 full pages, so yes. you have looked at every single penny in, every single penny out, so, <laughs> and, and these are available to anybody in public, so, being the fact that it's a public meeting, so. Looks like Ted did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I, and I will note I have my response letter inside there too. Um, and like, like Andy said, a lot of these issues we really can't get around because it's just myself and Chris Yoho, which I want to give a shout out. She does a lot of the day-to-day -day paying the bills and her diligence really, diligence really helps us through the audit more than anything because she scans and files appropriately. And that, that believe me, that's the, that's the hardest job of audits is finding uh, an invoice from January of the previous year. So, <laughs> thank you. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll move on now to proclamations. I invite anyone who's from the uh, senior center to join me at the podium. Mm -hmm. no, I'll just go on down here. And
And I uh, do want to point out, it was uh, asked about earlier before, uh, prior to the meeting, uh, you know, why it's not two groups. Uh, this is a proclamation for National Senior Center Month. I do want to make sure that everyone knows that we do also have a club, a senior club in the city of Bel Air too. So uh, two great groups of seniors, but uh, dealing with proclamation for National, <coughs> excuse me, Senior Center Month. To the citizens of Bel Air, Kansas, greetings. Whereas older Americans are significant members of our society, providing wisdom and experience to help enrich the lives of younger generations. And whereas the Bel Air Senior Center has acted as a catalyst for mobilizing the creativity, energy, vitality, and commitment of the older residents of Bel Air. And whereas through a wide array of services, programs, and activities, senior centers empower the older residents of Bel Air to contribute to their own health and well-being, as well as the health and well-being of their fellow community members of all ages. And whereas the Bel Air Senior Center affirms the dignity, self-worth, and independence of older persons by facilitating their decisions and actions, tapping their experiences, skills, and knowledge, and enabling their continued contributions to the community. Now, therefore, I, David Austin, Mayor of the City of Bel Air, do hereby proclaim September 2017 as Senior Center Month in the City of Bel Air. I call upon all residents to recognize the tremendous contribution that senior centers make towards our communities and the outstanding efforts of the staff and volunteers who work every single day to enhance the well-being of the older members of our community. And I'll be happy to sign that. And with that, we'll now open it up to citizens' concerns. If there's anyone in the audience that wants to speak on anything that's on the agenda this evening. Okay. Seeing none, we will uh, move on to reports. And I uh, want to point out, uh, shortly before the meeting, uh, Councilman McDonald changed seats. So we're going to start down there. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I have no report. Okay. Becker? I don't have much of a report. You know, it's been so long since we've been here. It seems like forever. I did go to the Eclipse event that the Senior Center put on, and that was very successful and very interesting. And I was really glad to see so many in our community come out, people of all ages. And so I thought it was a really nice uh, community event, and I'm sure glad they did that. That's all I have. All right. Well, Thank you. We um, need to continue to pray. I keep thinking about the people in Houston and now the people in Florida that are going to be hit in the, the islands with Irma. So it's so sad when you look at that. And I want to wish our manager a happy belated birthday. His birthday was yesterday. And I also want to report uh, the Chisholm Creek Utility Authority at our meeting. We had um they're, they're going to actually be coming every month to give a report because they're so far behind on the work but they did assure us that all the things are ordered for the bel air and you know the big thing that it, right now with uh, park city bel air is that odor control <laughs> and this is all going to take care of that along with other things but um, we did approve um, we're going to put a fence around the Bel Air well if you guys have been out there you know that there's that rodeo sometimes out there so that got approved that that's going to get up um, I believe that um, one side will remain that's already up there and I haven't been for so long I'm trying to like place it I have a map of it but that's going to get done and that's going to just keep our well very safe so that was really a good thing that they voted on and then of course like I said we're going to continue to get reports every month as the project progresses but at right now until all the equipment gets in it's pretty much at a standstill so they just keep telling both of the communities they're not going to raise any of the prices they're committed to what they're doing they said they're not going to even make money out of this by the time it's done but um, it was nice to have them start coming to our meetings and tell us what's going on so Yes, I think you were gone, weren't I was, you? Yeah, I just LA thought about that. Ellie filled in for you. I yeah. was there for the first report from them. Yeah, yeah, they were back. So I'll continue. Hopefully in September we'll have some more good news, and hopefully the fence will be up, and maybe we can even get some pictures to show 
on the thing what what it will look like now so that's really something that's needed done for quite a while they have noticed we've gotten a lot more emails from the CCA with all the flow reports and yeah so they're, yeah they're, they're really trying online. well with this upgrade and what it's costing they better be <laughs> So um, that's all my report. Oh, and I'm not going to be able to go Saturday to the SCAC. I don't know if anybody else is, but um, the Sedgwick County Association of Cities kicks off this week. But I have two prior commitments so I've got to decide between. Are you going to go? I, I'd like to go, and I'm going to try to go, okay. but I, I'm not, I can't promise that I'll get to. I saw that email today again. Mm -hmm. so. She wanted to know. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mayor. Councilman Wynn. Um, well, it has been a while since well, since we've all talked, uh, and it was a pretty quiet time, uh, but in looking at my calendar for the next week, uh, the re uh, executive committee, which I serve on, is meeting Thursday at um, lunch, um, and again, it's been a while since we've met, so it'll be a little bit of picking up and what have you, but hopefully having maybe some action items uh, coming out of that. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, the Bel Air Chamber will be meeting at Shepherd's Crossing at noon. Am I right? No. <laughs> um, well, you remember the last time I was uh, 30 minutes late. So um, um, anyway, um, and I've forgotten the young man's name, but the a person from one of the radio stations is the speaker uh, and looks to be maybe an interesting topic. So it uh, uh, could, uh, uh, could be an interesting uh, uh, meeting. Uh, and I also will try to attend SCAC. Um, my Saturday is not full because I worked a good deal of time last weekend. <laughs> so, uh, and that's all I have. Appreciate it. No report, Mayor. No report. Okay. And I have no formal report uh, today either, just to you know, echo a lot of what was said up here. Happy belated birthday to our city manager. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the eclipse party it was neat to see uh, Dr. Becker brought her grandbaby on. I thought that was so cool to, to see that. Um, and was really impressed with the. Uh, yeah, I showed up and ended up wrapping and running hot dogs with Ty, but that's sometimes you do what you got to do. <laughs> and uh, we uh, ended up with just one additional pair of sunglasses. So order the perfect amount, and, and there's absolutely more than 100 people because I know a lot of people were sharing as well, so a lot of great people got to come out and see our uh, city. And uh, appreciate you being able to go to the SCAC on Saturday. So with that, we'll turn it over to our city attorney. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, over the past couple of weeks, I've had a chance to research and support a lot of departments. Um, Public Works uh, got to help out with some economic development projects, um, finance in conjunction with a, a PD issue, and um, as in the coming weeks, I'll also be getting more involved with our court process and seeing how I can help with uh, efficiencies or just any support in that area. Um, I participated in a webinar on signage last week, and uh, we'll have a chance in the next week to review our signage code and to see how we are um, complying with the changes uh, that have occurred over the past couple years, and I'll be able to report back to you on that. Any questions for me? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We'll move on to city manager. Um, if you follow us on social media, you probably noticed that uh, we are very proud to be ranked the safest town in Kansas, mm -hmm. and um, that was uh, uh, we received that from the SafeWise group, which is a community-focused uh, security organization. And basically, what they do is they help citizens compare security providers with home protection, uh, security tips, and tools. So it's a web-based business, and that's what they're in business to do: is help with security. And what they do is they look at, they gather all the information from the FBI statistics on ag uh, violent crimes, uh, which would be uh, murder, robbery, rape, those types of things, and then property crimes, which is burglary. Uh, motor vehicle theft, those types of things, and they put all that information together, um, and they include they don't don't include populations under 2,500. 
Um, and so then they come out with a list of the top 10 or the top 20. And last year we were number three, and this year we moved up to number one. So <coughs> that's going to be a great uh, marketing tool for us, and hopefully uh, our citizens will feel safe. Still doesn't mean that you don't lock your car at night um, because <laughs> people will walk along and try doors to see if they can get in and things like that. But when you look at um, the, the violent crimes and the property crimes are very low uh, for that. So, um, and then um, Ted uh, notified me that um, he contacted uh, our bank and that handles our, our uh, property uh, land um, and uh, we'll be making the $255,000 principal payment. Um, uh, this November we have a November and a May and we're required to make uh, interest payments but we've been able to make well this will be an additional principal payment we'll make which means over the last four years we have put about four million dollars towards principal above and beyond what was required so that's a good thing for uh, people that are interested in our land debt and then just uh, uh, along with SCAC, um, this Saturday, the brush site's open Saturday. So if everybody with the cool weather, everybody's starting to do some trimming around the house or their trees, uh, the brush site's open on Saturday, I think from 9 to 1, I believe. So that's all I have, Mary. All righty. Thank you very much. With that, we'll move into ordinances, resolutions, and our final actions. And the first item up for council this evening. Um, is a special uh, actually there's a lot of special assessment actions a lot of the but these are exciting times these are these are good things as, as we uh, continue to put our best foot forward here um I actually got a, a text from a, a citizen prior to the meeting to kind of share that who's looking at the uh, agenda so appreciate that and, and i absolutely echo that but the uh the city has completed a number of public infrastructure improvements uh, these are we're talking about phase two of the courtyards at elk creek uh, phase one of Chapel Landing, Lassay Heights, and second of the Catholic Life Center, third, which we're now ready to be special assessed. So the staff has been working, we've been working with Gilmore and Bell um, to ensure that the uh, special assessments are accurate uh, based on the projects. Um, staff is requesting that the item, actually for this one, we're going to, uh, staff is actually asking that we table this until the next council meeting. Um, there's just a couple of uh, additional issues that they need to uh, to work on, but did kind of want to let everybody know uh, what we're talking about there, and, and would ask that we uh, uh, honor the, the staff's wishes to uh, to table uh, this item, and I think all that will be resolved by the September 19th meeting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to table item A. Second. We have first and second. Do you want me to list of each said documents? Jackie, or no, just item A is good enough. You can say it, just item A. Okay, okay perfect. Yeah. Sorry. But good, good question with you. Yeah, five actions. Right. Items on I thought, oh, do I need to list those? <laughs> <laughs> Questions or comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Oh, same sign. Okay. Next is uh, Chapel Landing the third. Uh, this is our final plat. The developer. Uh, Jay Russell of Chapel Landing Third. He's completed the final plat for his addition. Um, we uh, see it uh, on the screen. We've got it in our packet and also, uh, there. But the city staff has reviewed this plat. Uh, I also want to let you know that this plat was approved by the Planning Commission way back at their June 15th meeting. Um, and uh, it's Phil Meyer here. So there he is. Okay. Um, with Moffman Engineers, he's here to answer any questions. Uh, that relate to this plat or petitions if we have any. Are there any questions on that? Mr. Mayor, yes. I make a motion to approve the final plat of Chapel Landing third and authorize the required signatures. Second. First and second. Questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Phil, I was going to be easiest uh, <laughs> 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 with that. Well, appreciate having all this information, especially you know, with the with our planning commission approving it. It uh, really gives us a lot of confidence as well. Uh, item C is a developer's agreement for Chapel Landing Third. Uh, the city requires that each new development have a development agreement 
for that specific edition. Uh, our staff has worked with the developer to create the, this developer's agreement uh, with 53rd Street and Oliver LLC. So that's the, uh, what the name we have here, and that's for you to consider. And our city manager, uh, probably the best one to answer any questions on this one if we have any. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the development agreement with 53rd Street and Oliver LLC regarding Chapel Landing 3rd and authorize the mayor to sign. Second. First and second questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Item D. We're still talking Chapel Landing 3rd here. Um, Boffman Engineers um, has created estimates for the installation. This is for the public infrastructure in the third edition that have been uh, signed by the developer. So the action tonight is to simply accept the petitions. Then once the developer is ready to move forward with installation, the public improvements are going to be engineered and then uh, we'll go out for bid for the construction. And then those costs associated with those improvements, uh, those are all spread against the benefiting lots uh, there in the third edition of Chapel Landing. So guys have any questions on that and again Phil's still here if you have any questions on this one as well mr. mayor yes I'd like to make a motion to accept the water sanitary sewer stormwater and paving petition petitions for the chapel landing third edition second first and second are there any questions or comments Mr. Mayor, I'd just like to say I'm so happy to see this happening because we heard about this years ago, then it was solved for a little while, and so I'm real excited to see this uh, portion done. And when I saw Highland on there, at first I got really excited because I thought maybe that was coming all the way into Bel Air Heights, but it's not quite there yet, but it will be soon, I'm sure. So I just think it's wonderful, and it's going to be a real nice addition to our city. We do have first and second. Any other questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Oh, same sign. Hey, Adam, now let's uh, change gears. But uh, we're going to talk about water and sewer. This is Rock Springs second phase two, and uh, I think I'm going to pause real quick just to let everybody know at home keep here in second, first, and third. And these are all because all these developments, when they come in, they come in at different phases, and, and they're all approved and all that, and it's all part of the, the master plan. And, and anytime you continue to move, I, I think I'm gonna kind of echo what, what Dr. Becker was saying in there. You know, when you get to these next phases, that means we're successful. And they're investing and they're doing more. And th this is more of the same with, with all those uh, different phases with that. But for Rock Springs second phase two, the developer there is ready to move forward with the pub public infrastructure. Um, we received bids from five different companies, um, and you can see those in your packet. What's interesting is that all of them were uh, under the engineer's estimate of $285,865. Uh, we did have a low bid uh, that came in from Meets Construction, and uh, also want to point out that uh, staff is comfortable with the low bid. They've worked with Meets before and then say they've done a good job on previous Bel Air projects. Um, so with that, I would recommend that we uh, go ahead and go with the low bid. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to accept the bid from Mies Construction at a cost of $195,468.25 and authorize the mayor to sign. Second. First and second, any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. And looking forward to all of those getting started. And that wraps up our regular agenda, if you can believe it. <laughs> for, <laughs> for that, uh, we do have a uh, workshop scheduled for next, uh, for Tuesday the 12th at 6.30. I think the main agenda item for that, we're gonna talk about some roads. On that one, is that? Yes, and um, 
then um, Jeff Best from Law Kingdom will be back. Um, you remember he was at our last workshop to talk about the parks master plan, so mm -hmm. he'll be back to present that. I'm uh, going to talk about some roads, uh, the sewer, uh, or I'm sorry, water, a water main that we're looking at um, uh, getting doing away with on 45th Street. Um, so there's, uh, I think that's several of the items that we're going to be covering. Oh, and um, I think Jackie has got the uh, bylaws for all the committees done, mm -hmm. so be reviewing those as well. Is there anything else that a council would like to see on the agenda for our workshop September 12th? Sounds like we got a pretty full one. So, but that I'm looking forward, especially to hearing that uh, uh, the the parks master plan again. Are we going to limit him on time? <laughs> if you want to. He wasn't. No. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I have no need for an executive session. Hearing none at 7.35, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor, yes. I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Happy fall, everybody. We are adjourned.